What is up you guys? So I'm going to be doing a try on video of two pairs of leggings. Um, it's I got them from Amazon. It's a brand called Olacia. So overall, I am pretty happy with what I got in terms of the price point. Um, I think I paid like $16.99 ish. So let's go ahead and get started with the try on and my pros and cons and stuff like that. All right, what is up you guys? So I know it's been quite a while since I've even been on camera. Generally, it's been the things that I create or my interiors, things like that. Um, so I wanted to get on camera and do a leggings try on because I am long overdue for some new leggings. Um, the Sajora Satina, whatever they go by now, um, I've done a review on. And to be honest, they didn't hold up for me. So no slander, no hate toward them. It's just they didn't hold up for the particular use that I was using them for, which was heavy hip thrusts and squats and deadlifts. Uh, overall, um, just working out. So um, I think in terms of like low impact stuff or just general everyday use, I think they're perfectly fine and suitable and they'd hold up, but they began to show wear in the butt and then um, hole in the crotch type stuff just from lots of um, stretching of the material when it comes to heavier or high impact uh, working out. So that's the update with those pants if I didn't already share that already. Um, so anyways, I was on the market for some new leggings that were again low cost. Um, although I do plan here soon to buy some that are kind of like mid-range or a little more on the pricey side um, because their ads have really won me over. It's called, um, what's it called? Shit, it's like combat boots and, it's called combat boots and curves or curves and combat boots or something like that. And I really like their ads and the reviews look really good. So the pants there are like 65 ish dollars. So I'll do a review on those next video that I do a try on. But for now, I'm just doing these cheap pair of leggings, two pairs, uh, this brand called Olacia or Alacia uh, from Amazon. And I saw that they had pretty good reviews. So that's why I wanted to check them out. And to be honest, I'm happy with one of the pairs and then the other pair not so happy. And I'll explain why. Um, okay, so the one pair that I'm not as happy with, I did order size medium. Um, I would say they are, um, I guess like true to size-ish. They don't really run for me, at least I didn't think so. Um, but the problem is I'm 5'10", and so yeah, they both are short on me. So that's like the, the big drawback in terms of um, sizing. But let's see, the, these are one pair. And what I don't like about these, these both have pockets, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, this is what the pockets look like. Very stretchy. I think they're, they're like 12% VS spandex and then 88% polyester. Um, and what I don't like about these is they have that band. I don't know if you can tell on camera or I just have the shittiest of quality ever, but yeah, the band is not a favorite thing of mine because um, it kind of like, as you move, it digs in and it's not as flattering. I like a seamless. Um, so that's one reason I want to um, upgrade, go with the camouflage or not camouflage. Why do I want to call them that? Um, combat boots and curves or whatever they are and I like the Lululemons but it's just I'm trying to spend less so I didn't really like that about these pants I've noticed that with like a lot of cheaper quality pants I wish that they would just listen to the consumer because I know I'm not the only one making that complaint um but I think the reason why they do that is just to keep them held up they think that it'll be less like to I guess um having to pull them back up or whatever but it's just not as flattering 
So anyways, funny thing, now that I am on that tangent, is their next pair of pants doesn't really have that ugly seam that's at the top of the waistline. Um, it's only, like I'm wearing them right now, so I'm gonna take them off so I can show them up close. But yeah, these are the ones that I was ranting and raving about, I'm kind of all over the place. Um, but yeah, they're like the same material, I'd say. It's not much different in terms of material. Um, just the seams are okay. So, um, in terms of like just viewing them without trying them on, they always look like the same pair of pants to me. Um, it's just the pockets on the ones that I don't like are a little bit lower. These are the ones that I like. The pockets are a bit higher. I generally don't use pockets on my leggings just because I think that it, the phone, tends to weigh the pants down and I find myself having to pick up the pants more as I move around throughout the day. Um, but it is nice just in case I need to use them, you know, it's that extra option. Um, what else can I say about these like Um, okay, so the front has no seam, so that's really nice, um, but the back does have the seam. So like here's the back of the pants, and it's like a band, you know what I'm saying? So that doesn't bother me, and then the band stops like, um, they use this other seam like down the side of the pants to stop that band. So, um, yeah, that honestly, just that little bit of change makes that big of a difference to me. Um, honestly, I will remo or return these, <coughs> I will return these pants to get another pair of these. So I overall am really happy with these pants. They were under $20. You cannot beat that. The only um, complaint that I do have is that they are short, but that's kind of, um, hit or miss with me just because I'm already tall, I'm 5'10", so, or to be exact, 5'9 and 3 fourths, so, um, that, that's kind of a common occurrence for me to run into that issue, so I'm not, um, complaining too hard about it, but overall I'm really happy with those. I will leave that in the description below, um, the two pairs of pants and the ones that I love so much and maybe you are like me. Um, or know someone who's like me who doesn't like that stupid band. Uh So yeah, I picked up this blazer, this vintage blazer, for um, $6 at Waterfront Thrift Store, 
and it's made by the brand Casper and yeah I've never heard of them before but I really love this jacket I love like the detail I think it's just so like I don't know I really really love it and I like the way that it fits it's like very fitted um, that's generally how I like my blazers to fit um, Otherwise, I feel like I have a hard time dressing for my body ever since I got my breast implants because I feel like if I wear stuff that's not really fitted at times, then it makes me look bigger because my boobs will like balloon out my outfit. So um, I feel like to for it to be more flattering, I generally go with something that's more fitted. Um, so yeah, this is the blazer. I'm going to show it to you guys. This one has pockets, so that's cool. Who the hell would ever use these pockets though? I don't know. So this one um, is by the brand Less Suit or something. Um, so yeah, it's. I don't think it's like quite as flattering as the pink one. I just think that the pink one looks better on my body. Than this one. I don't know if it's because it's like a thicker material or what, but um, I like the pattern and um, I feel like the sleeves are like a tiny bit short compared to the pink one that I just had on. So there's this one. This one is a bit more on the modest side because I can actually button it over my boobs um, and it's longer, it's a little looser. But I like it. It's pinstripe, as you can see. So this one is in the brand Worthington. So if any of you are familiar with any of these brands, definitely put something in the comments about them because I haven't heard of any of them. I just found them at my thrift store and honestly, they were all $6. So this is what I was talking about that I generally don't choose because it's not quite as like fitted. Like it's just, I mean, it's not like that bad, but I really liked it because of this detail. So like you see the sparkles, like that's nice. And all of these have like sort of like shoulder pads type vibe going on or like they're shoulder pads, but they're not like ridiculous. You know what I mean? So this is also Casper. I wouldn't ignore my paint pants. That's generally what I wear. <clears throat> so this, honestly, I won't even know how to wear this because this is like the exact epitome of what I was talking about. But it's so pretty. Look at the pearls as buttons. I don't know. I just don't feel like it's like quite as flattering, but it's really pretty. And then this like embroidery. All right, so now I am back in clothes that have paint all over it. Well, I was already wearing the pants in some of my clips, as you can see that I had paint all over them. Um, and now my sweatshirt because I'm going to get back to painting some shit. Um, so yeah, if you want to keep up with the things that I paint, whether that's my wall features or abstract um, on canvas or just abstract in general, um yeah follow my instagram thank you for watching see you in my next video